Angela here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back, viewers of my stream. I'm just here talking with uh, Rokyo, and we're just deciding on the best way to build a melee character. Uh, currently, I have this is my actual very, very first character I ever made, but uh, Chev Angelo. Kind of getting up there. I never expected to prestige this character this many times, but I ended up doing it anyway. But uh, I always want to have, like I said, no matter what weapon type, you got to have the oh shit weapon. The oh shit weapon is just your submachine gun. Anything goes wrong, just flip to that and just unload. Just shoot the trees like that part in Predator, you know? <clears throat> Aside from that, you know, right now I'm currently using an axe. But I'm looking at the way it's built and how everything works. So we were talking and we were finding other people's um, way that they have set up their characters and whatnot. There have been people that just go multiple things like all toughness, all melee, brute strength, but like I want a little, not too much, you know, not that I'm going to actually put points into it, but I feel kickboxing is just too good. That ability to have things get off you if they're too close and the pushback on that alone is amazing. So I feel at least having one point and that is great. In addition to that, just, you know, the Resident Evil Revelations 2 dodge, just having that in here, or I guess even now Resident Evil 3 remake dodge. Just that one quick reflex. You can always leave it at one. I'm thinking leaving it at one, but you can always up it with gear and weapons. I don't know if weapons give you dodge. I think they do. But I know for a fact your clothing can definitely give you uh, dodge. Even though I know he's he's nerfed. Neil's super nerfed. The uh, dodge cooldown. The invincibility, basically. Yeah. And then here's something that both Chris and I were thinking about. It was immune. So, like, infection and radiation as well as having thick skin, you know, so bleeding and burn. Now, I'm thinking maybe it's worth it to go five on this, because bleeding and burn can kill you. The immune, the infection and radiation, I don't think it'll kill you. It's very annoying, and it'll slowly drain your health, and, like, you'll lose, like, either what sprint and your aim, and, you know, that's a super debuff. But, but thick skin, I think that'll kill you. So having that possibly around, like, 50%, that can definitely help out. As per... A melee character, what good is a melee character without stealth? In addition to that, I mean, I only needed technically one point in Sprinter, but with that buff that Neil did recently, you know, having Sprinter is just too good at just any level. Of course, I'm, I'm mainly a mission hunter. I don't really do bosses very often, and especially this being my melee uh, alt, I don't see myself really doing bosses unless I'm in a boss hunting crew. Now, this is, again, where I... I shift away from majority of other people, I still need Reloader to, to just, again, have that oh shit weapon, which is the submachine gun, having that extra um, ammo capacity, the reloading speed, and the walking speed is just too good. The ability to at least always have, you know, the submachine guns, that's why, and I think this time I'm going to keep it at four, because I'm already, like I said, I'm, I'm on Prestige 5, this is my last, my last run, so I got nine more skill points to play with, and... I might even keep this at 4, I might go higher, I'm not sure. I got Medic, you know, just that plus 20% restoration just helps out with everything, so a, a P bag, Paramedic's bag goes to 120, even a Burns kit's 12, just that little bit helps a lot. I might even go 2 on that, I don't know, or I'll find gear that can up, up that for me as well. Of course you gotta have Jogger 25, especially now with like all the Roid Hulks and the Tendrils and all the fast speedy guys out on the streets, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, Neil opened up the, the, the prison, so all these, uh, these freaking, uh, bosses and everything are on the streets, causing chaos. And of course, you know, Melee Expert 5, that's like a no-brainer. If you're going Melee, you gotta go Melee Expert 5. So now, the question is, do I continue building with more thick skin? I think I, I think I will. I might go three more in this. I think I'll go two more in Immune. I might even get toughness to up the HP, because I mean, a melee player or character with just 100 HP base, unless you get some gear, it's going to be rough, so I might throw one in toughness, or again, maybe I'll try and find some gear in the marketplace. So that's where I'm sitting right now, you know. Let me know all you uh, melee experts out there, what, what do you guys build? Because like I said, I know you guys would probably tell me I wasted <laughs> all that in the reloader, but hey. Like I said, just the way I play, the SMGs are always just that backup weapon whenever I have a melee character. Especially since I only have this melee character. 
Um, also, you'll probably tell me that my exterminator is a waste, but it's like, hey, man, the number one thing you're fighting in this game is infected. So if you keep fighting infected, I want to kill him faster. So there you go. But yeah, so I'm thinking three to four more in thick skin, two to three more in Im immune system, one or two in, uh, in toughness, and maybe even, what was it, medic? Another one in medic. Yep, and maybe one more in exterminator. Like I said, I want to be able to hit and kill things like ASAP. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And that's this little quick video of me, just how I think I'm going to build my uh, melee alt at max prestige and everything. So, yeah. If you guys agree, disagree, let me know. And thank you for watching, and I will see you guys out there. Peace out.